so I've got my first full team of level 10 links, and that's what I'm gonna do in this show in this video. I'm gonna fly through the legendary Goku event. And I believe the friend is also full level 10, but I'll just show that everybody in my team's level 10. Gogeta, level 10, transform, level 10. You hold on, level 10. Level 10, yeah, I've been grinding these links. The friend, this is the friend. Almost level 10, transformed, full level 10. My Vegito, level 10, transform, level 10. Vegito, level 10. Actually, I just, today I got this guy to level 10. Same with the Gogeta Blue, the AGL one. He was my, this Vegito was my first level 10, then this Vegito was my second. Yep, okay, so everybody's level 10. So I just wanna see how much badly I can completely obliterate this event. Of course, I don't think it'll be too easy, but I know I'm gonna essentially fly through this because the link levels are so strong. I almost have 600,000 HP. But instead of just talking about the team, let's talk about the celebration. This celebration, I don't think was all too great. I mean, isn't that it was a bad celebration, but part one was completely terrible. I mean, all they released was the banners, which I guess is what they do, but they have to do something. They had the missions and they had the banner, yes. They wanted us to use 2.2 billion stamina, but then they didn't give us anything to do in the game. So, what was, what's the point of the cooperative missions if there's literally no way we're going to complete the missions? Because, I don't know if any, you may have not noticed, but the part one missions, the co-op missions, they actually had to extend them because they realized, oh wait, they're not gonna, they're not gonna actually complete this, and this whole celebration is like a thank you to them for this accomplishment. So they actually had to end up extending how long we had to complete those missions, simply because they didn't do a good enough job at, you know, event distribution by giving us a reason to play the game. So, that, yeah, they had to extend the event, and then I don't, they don't, they're not gonna. I like, I like the idea of the co-op missions, I just don't think they did it very well, like... Okay, I guess the only way they can really count co-op missions would be through stamina, which is fair, because that's probably the only thing they're keeping track of. But again, if they're gonna give us missions where we have to play the game, they should at least make it so we can actually, you know, want to play the game. Even if something like Chain Battle counted, if they had another Chain Battle during the, um, the celebration, the celebration would've been a lot better. But, of course, they did not have such things. Also, when I get later in the event, I might put the two- I'm gonna put the two LR transforming Vegitos on the same rotation. But for now, I'll leave them floating. So, I mean, yeah, it's just- I just don't think they executed it poorly- very well. Like, part two? Part two was better, it had stuff to do- I mean, Extreme Super Battle Road came out, which was great. Sure, I like I started liking the stickers and the um the box face from the the shop, whatever what's it called the uh, victories light or whatever I don't know what they, I don't remember what they called it something stupid like that. Now that the victories light that's from the old Super Battle Road. But yeah, I mean I like this Extreme Super Battle Road. Extreme Tech is far and away for me the hardest stage because I don't have Raditz so. As of now, it's completely impossible for me to beat that stage, which isn't fun, but I beat the rest of them. I like the equipments too, I just, maybe the equipment could have been a little bit stronger, I feel. Because like how hard it is to get it, they're only giving plus 300 attack, HP, or defense. It should, I feel it should have been, um, like at least 500, like, if they had a level 3 crit additional dodge, that, that's fine, but I think the stat buff it should have gave was 500, I feel. But... And then we could talk about the cards, like... I got the TN, I haven't awakened the TN because I didn't care about the TN, and I still don't, but I'm gonna awaken him eventually. I didn't even really summon on the Boo banner because my luck was so terrible on the Vegito banner. I had- I want a thousand- I think 1,050 stones it took me to pull my, my first and only copy of the Vegito. So, I want the entire, like, buy through, get one free. Summoning for Vegito, so I didn't even summon on the Boo Banner. And I still haven't. No, I, I did, after the discounts ended, I did some single summons. Got my ninth copy of STR Super Boo, and you know, that was a fantastic occasion. So I kind of just shut the game off after that, because it was a really bad summon. Yeah, and earlier today, 
I mean, they released the LR Vegeta banner, which I've only done one multi-summon on, which I did like two hours ago, actually. And I got, I got a uh, Vegeta blue animation, got my second dupe of LR Ultrans and Goku, which was exciting. But I was slightly afraid that it was going to be Majin Vegeta, which I have Majin Vegeta, but I don't, I don't ever use him. He's like level 43 or something in my box. And that he's completely terrible. I just, I just don't have any use of LR Majin Vegeta, so I don't, I don't bother using him. But they revamped the Super Attack level like they did with the um, with the LR Gohan last year. Which I must say, Vegeta's animation I think looks better, but Gohan's animation is just more iconic. Because like, I don't remember when Vegeta did the, what is it, the Atomic Blast on Majin Buu. I, I, I don't remember that from the anime. I never read the Dragon Ball Z manga. I watched Dragon Ball Z Kai. That's what I grew up with. So, yeah. I don't remember him ever doing the Atomic Blast against the, um, the Majin Buu. And I get why they were... I mean, I, they should have... If they're going to revamp their super attacks, I feel they should have just done both their super attacks. Because, like... The final explosion could have been could have been redone, I feel like. It could have had used some new animation. But then also, the, um... The Atomic Blast looks really good, though. Just that the, I wish that the, they, you know... They read the final explosion because that's what—that's the hype of Majin Vegeta. It's the final explosion. But oh well, they didn't do it. Also, I think in this rotation, this Gogeta has all his links active. Uh, when he attack, when he gets his super attack, when I give him this key, he'll have all his links active. Yep. So he's gonna minus the fact he hasn't attacked yet at all. He's gonna do quite a bit of damage once he does get the attack. Okay, so I'm not gonna take damage this turn either. Maybe actually, Gogeta might get hit a little hard, but Vegeta won't take damage from this. Okay. I won't die. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, I actually just used my, um... I didn't pull the suit again because I barely summoned on the banner. I didn't pull the Super Boo, the new Boo Gohan. I used them for the first time, though, on the Legendary Goku event last night. Because I used the SCR Super Boo lead. He carried the team so hard. It wasn't even a rainbowed one. It was like, um... What was it? How many dupes was it? I think it was... 79% one, he just completely swept the entire event. It was ridiculous. Yo. He's just... Him and Super Vegeta, they're just fantastic. Like, the Gogeta... The Gogeta. The Boo is by far the best villain character in the game. That's like, not even... That's not even a question. Also, I'm actually gonna transform you right now. Because I want to see where his super... Where he's gonna... This Goku's gonna super attack. I don't, I don't really like his, um, but this Vegito, I don't like his theme that much. I don't, I don't like either of their themes, Boo or Vegito. So I think Vegito's is a little bit better. Oh, he's not super attacking. Okay. Because, you know, that one, t you have higher defense. I should do this. Yeah, I'll do this. So I get those counters. Also, these two Vegito's actually link quite well together. Yeah, I mean, you're in the middle, so you're getting... Yeah, these Vegitos work really well together. That's the point that I'm trying to make there. Like this, yeah, the problem with this one, though, is that he doesn't tank the greatest, but actually him taking some damage now would be quite useful, so then I can fuse the, um, the Ant Vegito. But yeah, I mean... Okay, let's look at the, the car. What else did they release during this uh, terrible celebration? They released the... Um, the uh, partner super attacks. The Vegeta super attack, the LR, I don't have the LR, but his super attack looks really good. I know he does a lot of damage, but like, if they're gonna make it like so exclusive of Goku, can I at least call it like Vegeta and Goku, or Vegeta slash Goku, or Vegeta just like parentheses Goku, like they with the Goku, the Zamasu and Goku's body, the free to play LR that came out during the anniversary. Also, I'm completely flying through this event, huh? Because, I mean, yeah, and then they also released the Majin Buu and the Hercule. Not Majin Buu slash Hercule. I really like the Hercule. Actually, I really like that card. I like that he... The best part of that card is when he super, when he gets a KO with a super attack because it looks like he didn't even hurt the enemy. Which is just the funniest thing. It's like, it's his KO and then the guy's just standing there like nothing even hurt them. And then he's also like, he's really tanky. I just wish maybe, now that I know he dodges, I might actually redo his potential and take away his critical and just change it to dodge because I'd rather him not dodge at all so he can stack his defense for longer because that's probably more gonna be more beneficial 
Also, I don't need to use an item this turn because I'm going to put the Vegito first. And he'll stack his defense a lot. Yeah, I'll be fine. And then what they released a Goku, which is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the EZA. He's a, he also has a partner super attack with Majin Buu. He's the first character who powers down, I think, with his transformation. Yeah, he's the... I think they call it deactivation or something. But it, it's... I mean, it's technically a transformation. Like, I guess deactivation, but... They should call it, like, power, like powering down or, super, or something, like, detransformation or something. Because it's not... I guess he is not activating Super Saiyan 3. Whatever. I like that card too, I just think the Hercule is better because there's better Super Saiyan 3 Gokus than that Goku. Not that I think that Goku is bad or anything, I just know that there's, there's obviously just better ones than he is. Uh, I'm not going to get Super Attack this turn. I'm going to risk it. I mean, I know he's... Oh, actually, I, I can get kind of screwed though. Oh, I don't want a Doken mode right now. Oh well. I'll just I'll just kill him then. The Goku, yeah, there's better Goku Super Saiyan 3 Goku's in the game, and I'm sure we're gonna get another Super Saiyan 3 Goku Doken Fest eventually. So that free to play one will never be too great, I feel. But the Hercule slash Boo that one will always be good, simply because I don't think they'll ever release another Hercule slash Boo. They're, like the LR Hercule, he should be at Hercule and Boo. So that they might do one day, but Hercule slash Boo, is, that's probably never going to happen. Okay. So we'll do this. Yeah, because he's not super attacking, but I don't want to die. I'm not going to give the, this, uh, the Gogeta the reds, because I want to... No, actually, I still have too much health. Because I wanted to try to get... Uh, fuse the Int Vegito now that I have him with this STR Vegito next turn. But regardless, I mean, I don't. I might. I might not honestly fuse him because I'm just. I'm 11 turns in and the events like just getting obliterated by the Vegitos and the Gogetos. Yeah, because the only way I'd be able to do that is if I get super attacked. But if I got super attacked. Well, actually, Gogeta might take enough damage though because he hasn't gotten to attack as much as the Vegito and he won't be able to dodge in that last slot. So Gogeta might take enough damage, but Vegeta won't take like any damage. So yeah, and what else? They released the Oob. I mean, I got the Oob. He looks good, I guess. I just don't care about using Oob. I felt like it would have been better for this last part of the celebration, this part two, if they ended it with like a world tournament. So then... They release a world tournament, they release, I don't know, maybe the TUR for the world tournament AGL Kid Pan. What could be the new Doken, uh, new card? Maybe, I don't know, they release like a Goten Teen from the tournament. So he could be the new LR, new uh, prize card. Cause they're never going to release a Goten Teen aside from Goten GT, but he'll be called Goten GT. So Also, he's still not super attacking. Also, all these guys, these guys can have full lin links active, so they're going to do a lot of damage. And good thing Vegito, this Vegito gets the attack first, because yeah, because the other Vegito will fine. He'll may take some damage, but he'll be okay. Yeah. He's not super attacking yet, though. I'm surprised. But, yeah, if they ended up with a world tournament, because they could at least give us a Goten team, QR of that Kid Pan, because they won't, they won't make another Kid Pan, I don't think. Maybe they could have started... Uh, LR Demon King Piccolo on Global too because they don't we don't have him yet and then they could have brought back that STR because it's just um it was the AGL Oob I think AGL Kid Oob they released from the World Tournament a few years ago that they could have re they could have re-released him Doken him into like Goku and Oob which would have been cool or something like that I just feel like this celebration wasn't exactly the greatest because people are like oh this is the best celebration all year long and honestly it really wasn't <laughs> it was okay it wasn't fantastic it had a lot of flaws i think the fourth anniversary was still better than every other celebration in the game like part one of that 
fourth anniversary was empty like the rest of the game. But part two of the celebration was honestly the best in Dokkan history. This celebration was nowhere near the best in history. I think the fifth anniversary is better than this because they, they didn't even release... They didn't even release that whatchamacallit. I mean, I don't do those of like a... Um, whatchamacallit? Like a 120% lead EZA, which I think they could have done because there's like half of the... <laughs> The leads from the one, the 120 leads are actually from the Majin Buu saga, so they could have done one, but they, for some reason, chose not to. Also, I could, I'm just gonna, yeah, I, I just ended this turn. So, back to what I'm saying, what I've been saying, essentially, the cards of this celebration overall, good. The celebration, complete garbage. The rewards, man, I mean, we didn't hit top, we didn't even get top grossing on JP twice. I mean, we got it twice, but we didn't get 100 stones. We could have got, like, 200 more stones on Jeep. What is it? 140 more stones if Google Play hit first place. It's just that the timing they released these characters for Japan just doesn't work, so. Yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude the video. I don't like the celebration. I like the characters they released. And hopefully the next, next year they'll do a better download celebration, or whatever they called it this year. I would like to thank you for watching, especially if you listen to me ranting about how bad the celebration was. Have a great day, I guess. I don't know how to outro this. And hopefully you watch my next video.